Hey, what's going on guys? And welcome to the third consecutive disaster detail video. I don't know what's going on lately, but you guys are in for another treat as the 2003 Jeep Liberty sitting beside me is an absolute mess. Okay, so starting with the exterior, and as you just saw, the entire vehicle is covered in dirt, right from the front end all the way to the back, where the spare wheel has turned a nice shade of brown. But besides the filthy exterior, I got quite the surprise when I opened the door, as not only is there piles of dog and human hair all over the inside, but the vehicle has clearly become a garbage can, as there is piles and piles of old moldy food, including some ice cream sandwiches, but just before we dive into this mess, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss out on a future video and consider becoming a channel member as well for exclusive behind the scenes and sneak peeks of new videos. Okay guys, well besides the mountain of garbage, I've got a fair bit of work all around this Jeep to get it looking new again. So sit back, relax and enjoy the transformation. All right, well, with the spring melt around here pretty well done now, this is honestly the perfect time to get this vehicle fully detailed inside and out as the roads are finally dry and we don't usually get much for rain at this time of year, so it shouldn't be hard to keep the vehicle clean for quite a while. working my way around the Jeep and something you might have noticed about this vehicle is that all the factory emblems have been replaced with some kind of bedazzled version. So that's definitely the first time I've seen that. But to give you a little bit of background, the vehicle belongs to a young girl. And with this being her first vehicle, that type of modification makes a lot of sense. Starting on the door jams, and I can say I'm definitely not looking forward to having to deal with all of that garbage on the inside, although it is always interesting seeing what sorts of things people keep in their vehicles.
Okay, so with the Jeep covered in some nice thick foam now, I'll go around with my Detail Geek Boar's Hair Detail Brush and use it in all the crevices around the vehicle, like the door handles, trim, emblems, and of course, behind the gas door. All right, well, normally I would just grab the floor mats and get to work on them, but I actually have to dig my way through all the garbage to even find them. So being careful to separate out any personal items like this jar of dried up berries, I'll toss all the garbage. And surprisingly, the ice cream sandwiches were still solid, which kind of makes me wonder what's in them that they didn't melt. Okay, with the monumental job of getting all the stuff out of the Jeep done now, I'll get started on these floor mats and we'll start by blasting all the stuck on garbage off and the other loose dirt, hit them with my Detail Geek medium green drill brush and some four to one APC and then just blast them clean. All right, well, it's finally time to get these front seats out and to take a look at all the goodies that we're hiding underneath them. And as you can imagine, there's quite a bit more hair, some French fries and more garbage.
Okay, moving down to the carpets, and as you can probably tell, there's quite a few spots where there was something spilled and it's turned the carpet hard and crusty. So that's not going to come out with the vacuum, nor is all the hair. So once I've gone over everything, I'll grab my lily brush to make sure I can get all of the hair out and get the carpet as clean as possible before extracting. Now for anyone out there who maybe has trouble with pet hair removal or even removing their own hair from carpets or seats, well I would highly recommend a lily brush as it's effortlessly able to pull any trapped hair from the carpet and it will be the best $13 you've ever spent. I have these available on my website at detailgeekautocare.com where worldwide shipping is available as well. Alright, it's time to start on extracting these dirty seats, and since these are dark, it can be hard to tell exactly how dirty they are, but once I start making the first few passes, it's pretty clear there's a fair bit of dirt embedded in them that's easily getting sucked out with the Bissell.
moving to the rear seat now and I wanted to let you know that I recently posted the garage cleanup video from the muddy F-150 I did a few weeks ago on the second channel. So if you've ever wondered how I clean up my garage after a muddy detail or how I clean up my drain pit, well make sure you head over there after this video and check it out. Moving to this crusty section in the back and you might notice I'm using my soft white drill brush today and that's because with this carpet being pretty decent quality it doesn't need too much agitation to get these stains loosened up so if any of you out there have ever wanted to tackle your own carpet or seats well my detail geek drill brushes are the perfect tool to get nearly any stain loosened up and ready to be extracted I've got them available on my website at detailgeekautocare.com so feel free to give those a look. Here's the entire bucket full of concentrated filth pulled out of this Jeep. Gross. Okay, so with the interior trim not being super dirty, I figured I'd show you an easy way to clean it if you don't have a steamer. So what I do is spray some all-purpose cleaner diluted about 10 to 1 onto a slightly damp microfiber towel wipe everything down, and then simply just wipe off any remaining APC residue with a separate dry towel. Now for all the trim pieces I removed earlier, the best way to get these clean is with the steamer since there's a ton of caked on dirt and grime on them. So after spraying on some 4 to 1 APC, I'll blast them with the steamer and the brush attachment and then just rinse and dry them off and they'll be perfectly clean.
Now another place the steamer comes in incredibly handy is for the seat rails and the mounts as those are almost always really dirty and grimy. So a little bit of high velocity steam takes care of that in a matter of seconds. So if anyone out there has been thinking about picking a steamer up, I would highly recommend the McCulloch MC1375 unit that I use as it's incredibly versatile and can even be used around the house as well. So if you're interested, the link to it is down in the description for you. Okay, with everything clean now, I'll get some 303 Aerospace Protectant applied to all the plastic trim in the vehicle, and once it dries, it's going to leave everything with a non-greasy, matte finish that just looks incredible. Second last step here is to clean all the glass inside and out and if you notice the color of my towel has changed from the usual blue, well that's because I'm using my new Detail Geek Waffle Weave Towels which will be available in just a few weeks from now.
All right, and 11 hours later, and the Liberty is looking and smelling spectacular. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Enjoy the guitar outro, and I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.